Trav, we got to talk about it. You always start this with, we got to talk about it. <laughs> well, you never want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it, which I get. You want to keep what do your you, private what life private. What makes you think I don't want to talk about it? Because you want to keep your I private don't... life private. You've been on record as saying you want to keep your private life private. You're right. You're right. All I right? do. But this is right? not, this is public Well, this has been public. Knowledge. This is public. So we, I feel like it's. <laughs> this is, yeah. I can still keep that part private, but this is public. Yeah. I went down to Argentina and it was, uh, it was a whole bunch of fun, man. So you went down to Argentina. Yeah. I went south of the equator, which I've never been, never been south of the equator ever in my life. You've never been anywhere south of the equator? No. Wow. That's what I said when I got down there. Yeah. What was your biggest takeaway from Argentina? What, uh. You were there for what? Three days? Two days? Um, I was. I got Friday, there Saturday, Sunday. Friday, yeah, and left Sunday. Yep. Friday, Sunday. So I was there two nights. Yeah, got down there hoping that I was going to see Taylor's uh, first or I guess second uh, show, but it got it got rained out. Really, it got thunder and lightning out. It got postponed because um, the entire stage is a LED screen, so lightning and electronics don't mesh very well. Or water. Or water. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, there's a lot of things that aren't m- mirroring up very well. She didn't. She didn't. Sounds like a labyrinth of issues there. Labyrinth. <laughs> she uh, she wasn't too happy about it. Obviously, she uh, she kind of prides herself on performing through like weather or rain and things like that. But when it's unsafe to her and her her crew and everybody in the stadium, you got to do what you got to do. But it wasn't canceled. It was postponed, um, as she uh, she noted. Um, and you know what? I think uh, everybody was accommodated for uh, whoever missed on Friday to go on Sunday. And uh, sure enough, I think it ended up being perfect. Everybody got everybody got to go. What goes into postponing a show? Like, I know it was a safety I mean, issue. Like, how, when did she know that it was going to be postponed? Like, she... It was like a couple of hours before... You're waiting, like they, they, hoping they, that the weather changes, hoping that yeah. it's like you get a window at some point to, throw, to put it on. Yeah. And then, uh, and then you kind of get the expert in it all to tell you that it's probably best that we just postpone it because this was all outdoor what what uh what was the venue the stadium was unbelievable i don't i forget what it was called is it like a soccer stadium it looked like a soccer stadium yeah and what would be like at the ends of the field was like an entire like row of or entire like area of just like high like uh risers everybody was like standing room So it was instead of like people like having seats, everybody just knew when they went to this event that they were going to be standing in that in that section. How many people were there? Do you know? I think it was north of 65, like 70,000. Jesus. Three nights in a row. (laughs) It's it's crazy how many how many uh, sold out shows she has and these venues that she keeps going to. Yeah, it's everywhere. No, I was blown away. I was blown away. It was an electric crowd, too. Um, and for everybody that went to those shows, Taylor was on record saying that it was one of her favorite places to play. So hats off to you guys for showing the love. It was, uh, it was fun, man. How does it feel to officially be, uh, the guy on the chiefs? <laughs> you mean karma? Karma. That's uh, right. <laughs> yeah, no, I had no clue that, uh, well, I might've had a little bit of a clue, but, um, definitely when I heard it come out of her mouth, uh, still shocked me. And, uh, yeah, you could tell in the video. I was like, it was pretty, oh, sh- she really just said you were that. so All shocked right. you left scott hanging <sighs> scott's over here looking for a high five yeah mr swift i apologize big guy oh <laughs> man i missed that i never miss a high five too big high five guy it's the most electric thing you can do in a at an event and uh so sorry mr sweet he even had your chief's lanyard on got him on to over here to the good side baby scott, you know what i'm saying what are we doing scott just just one by one getting all the good good ones you're come gonna, on over you're gonna man. let this man's devilishly good looks and relationship with your daughter sway you from a <laughs> lifetime of fandom scott this is ridiculous oh uh, man i might have persuaded him at uh at dinner the night before when i met him no did you uh, maybe who knows he's a huge football guy is he? he um, yeah, he played college ball, uh, I believe a year at Hawaii and then uh, a year or two, or I forget how what long position? he was at Delaware, but I think he was a linebacker linebacker turned center. He's pretty tall, isn't he? enough. Yeah, he's a tall guy, about 6'2". Yeah, you don't see I think that. Was, like I think he was linebacker turned center or center and linebacker. He was a kind of dual we'll uh to get together and talk position. some center shop one day. All right now. For those of you who haven't seen uh, all the videos of me um, on your TikTok and your Instagram feed, uh, I was enjoying myself down there in uh, in Buenos Aires. Um, the show was uh, even more electric, um, knowing that I had a, a little bit more to enjoy for. And um, yeah, 
Taylor absolutely ripped it. She killed it. And it looked like she was having some fun up there. Not right now. Can you hear that? Of course. Kids are going crazy. Those little monsters. What else did you do outside of just the show? Did you guys go out to eat? We got some good food, man. Had some empanadas and uh, and steak. They're big on uh, all the different beef cuts of meat. Yeah, got some nice. uh, got some good steak down there, man. Yeah, it was the first night I was there. Really, the uh, the only night we had a chance to go to dinner um, was the night the show the the show got postponed. So we didn't want to just go and have a have a blast throughout the city like we didn't care about the show. So we um, we made sure we stayed in the hotel and kind of kept to ourselves, man. Well, I'll tell you what, it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun watching it through social media take place, and it's a lot of fun seeing a look on your face. So I'm glad that you enjoyed it, Travis. All right, now, brother, we got to get you to a concert, man. See if you uh, you love I some good live go. music, I would, man. I would love to go. I'm telling you, go. man, it'll, it'll blow you away. It'll absolutely blow you away, man. 